Hi everybody and welcome back to my lab. Uh, today I hope that uh, my presentation for you has a marked improvement in the audio quality. For some time it's been something that I've struggled with and you know I I started by buying the microphone that I'm using right now and I'll link that in in the description but uh, you know I was really really sort of struggling with the concept of, of what I was doing wrong. And so I was about to uh, order another uh, microphone and I thought, no, uh, let's just hold off for a second and um, do a little bit of research. And so the first thing that I noticed uh, or found when I was doing the research is uh, the quality of your environment absolutely affects everything. If you have the best microphone in the world uh, and you have a poor quality um, recording studio or even uh, how you present, then it's just going to, to record the garbage very well. And so I thought, well, before I, before I go out and buy, uh, you know, a, a microphone that would cost hundreds of dollars, let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, look into this. And the first thing that I found was, uh, sound dampening, uh, in the form of, acoustic uh, uh, diffusers so, so there's these uh, foam egg cartons that you can stick on the walls and that's that's what it is it, it just diffuses and so it seemed kind of random do you just put them everywhere or you know is there some sort of technique that you're supposed to use for this and as it turns out there's a lot of technique to it uh, you want to look at reflections you want to look at base traps you want to look at a lot of this information okay and so um, let's take a look at what I did uh, to, to improve the quality of my sound. All right. Uh, so uh, the first thing that, that I did was uh, I took a look at where the bulk of my sound was coming from and uh, as far as noise and that was my computer and as much as I'd like to buy or make build a silent computer that's outside my budget at this time and so I thought about putting it in a in the other room and running the, the cables and that doesn't really work for me and so then I thought about soundproofing the computer and again that that gets expensive rather quickly. Um, Noctua fans are not cheap. Uh, I looked at replacing the heat sink. I, I looked at a bunch of things, water cooling, and, and they, they all cost too much money. And so the next thing that I saw was, well, perhaps I can, I can just isolate the microphone. And so I, I, thought about it and I you know I took made myself a cardboard box I put it around the microphone and eh, not really didn't do much and so then I was thinking about the egg cartons and I thought well before I buy these egg cartons or purchase a microphone screen what if I just took some egg cartons that I already have like actual egg cartons and glue them to this to this box and the result was mediocre I mean it, it did it did change the acoustic properties, but not enough. And so from there, I thought, well, perhaps I can use this, this egg carton box that I had made and uh, insulate the, the computer. And it, it brought it down a few decibels, but not, not appreciably. I, I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with, with it so far. And so, you know, I was kind of scratching my head and so then it's time for some more research. And the research that I found said, look at you, you can't, you can't just diffuse the noise. You need to attenuate it. You need to deal with it. And dealing with it at the source is great. Uh, and so, uh, the next thing was, okay, if, if, if the computer, I can't get rid of the noise there, perhaps in post editing, I can deal with it. And Audacity does actually have a really great filter where I can record the background noise and then subtract that from, from the audio clip. And so that this was, this was, this was great. This was a huge step forward for me. 
And uh, so from there, I was able to uh, get rid of all that white noise in the background. And I could, I could hear a reverb. I could hear a reflection. And so then I'm thinking, okay, so if, if I can deal with the noise from the, from the computer, um, then I need to deal with, with this reverb. And, you know, having a hard surfaced room is fantastic. You know, this is my electronics lab, uh, as well as my recording studio and my fortress of solitude sometimes. Uh, but the, the idea of having soft surfaces everywhere in a room that you're trying to keep as clean and static free as possible doesn't really doesn't really bode well so uh, what to do and so I had all these egg cartons and I thought well let's let's try just putting them on the wall because we do know that uh, reflections uh, can can be uh, dissipated uh, through through uh, non uh, con conformal surfaces like uh, not flat surfaces and so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll just hot glue them onto, onto my wall. Well, why hot glue? If you watched my video on the lights, uh, you know that hot glue is wonderfully temporary, especially on painted surfaces. It, it peels right off and doesn't damage the wall, uh, meaning that, uh, yes, I can remove these, but uh, these egg cartons that I've stuck up on the wall are absolutely not going to be permanent. They, I expect them to fall off, uh, in a matter of days. And so this really is just a test. Um, but when I put them up, uh, I, I, I got some favorable results. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't great, uh, but it was a start. And so then some more research and they, they were talking about, uh, reflections. And so, uh, the next thing was, okay, let's grab, uh, a, a moving, uh, a moving blanket and put that on the ground. It absolutely, uh, helps the green screen behind me. Absolutely helps. Uh, the moving blanket I actually pushed up onto, onto a, uh, onto a chair so that it, it helps, uh, dampen the noise that might get down into the corner and corners become another thing. It's called a base trap. And so you, you want to uh, make sure that you, you deaden those, those, those nicely. And so, uh, after I put them, put up my egg cartons, I tested it and it seemed okay. Uh, but you know, the sound traps in the corner seem to be a thing, especially the way I sit in my little studio here. Um, my voice is being projected into the corner. And so I was getting, I was getting a double reflection coming back. So not just once, but twice or three trice uh and so that was it that was a thing and uh so then i wanted to make sure that my desk was the the next thing that that i dealt with and so you know where i position my keyboard uh, provides a, a non-uniform surface so that i don't end up with a reflection in front of the desk uh, but i was getting something off the monitors and so my daughter's a uh, pink uh, teddy bear and and uh the unicorn that she left in my office uh, serves that purpose quite well. And so here we are. Uh, apply a couple filters, bring it into, uh, into Lightworks, m mix the, mix the Audacity soundtrack with the, with the, uh, today I'm using uh, the Logitech uh, video capture, uh, and a uh, couple, couple, uh, couple tweaks here and there, do the, uh, the chroma key and, uh, Bob's your uncle, right? So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you def, <laughs> I definitely hope that you, uh, notice a improvement in the sound quality. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, constructive criticism is always appreciated. You can go ahead, give it a thumbs down comments down below are most appreciated and uh, if you do like my content please subscribe uh, i am trying to grow my channel so every every sub does help and is truly appreciated all right thanks and i hope you have a great day bye now